From high-end dining experiences to casual pub food, Dine the Couve has a little bit of everything. Yeah, Fox Rose Io Elise is here to tell us more about how to take a bite out of the Vancouver food scene. Hi, Io. Hi, and yes, back for its seventh year, Dine the Couve gives people a chance to find their new favorite restaurant in Vancouver. Portland will always be a foodie destination in itself, but we wanted to bring people across the river to experience Vancouver's food scene. And people will be able to do just that by dining at any one of the 36 restaurants in and around Vancouver for this year's Dine the Couve. Yeah, you can really get a lot of different things. So there's a little bit of like upscale options that say like the AC Lounge, they have like salmon and that kind of thing. Or you can go to a wine tasting room like Pepper Bridge and Amavi Cellars on the waterfront and they'll do a wine tasting with like a charcuterie board. Or you could stop by Mav's Tap House. They're joining Dine the Coup for their second year. And here at Mav's, there's more than a few things you can bite into. The Tap House offers pinball, 26 beers on tap, and a full menu. Their Dine the Coup menu includes their ever popular tri-tip bomb knee sliders and their hi-fi smash burger. Each participating restaurant offers a three for 25 or three for 35 menu. That includes a combination of drinks, appetizers, entrees, and more. And this year, there will be many new participating restaurants, including two new to the Vancouver food scene. So I just think it's fun. The, you find new places, try different things, places you might not normally go, because you read the list, and I hadn't heard of a few of them, and I thought I knew most of the places in Vancouver. The director of marketing for Visit Vancouver Washington has an idea on how to best take advantage of this event. I would say come over and pair it with something that you haven't experienced in Vancouver before. So find a restaurant that's close to something else you want to do, whether it's walking the waterfront and checking out the Grant Street Pier or checking out some shops um, in downtown or really anything. I say pair it with a little something else to experience Vancouver and I think it's worth the trip. Dine the Couve runs through the end of October, and you can take a look at the restaurant list on their website. We'll have a link at kptv.com. And the question is, are you hungry? Yes, that <laughs> burger is killing me. Oh my me. gosh, that yeah. burger looks insane. Isn't there it? it is again. It's so and those wild. waffle fries, my goodness. And Shawnee, you mentioned it, Vancouver's become such a foodie town. It really has. Yeah, I mean, it really feels great. like it's just blown up. And yeah, perfect excuse to go out there and walk that wa ro yep. riverfront because it's gorgeous. Yeah, have have one of their beers, yes. have those bomb me sliders, then go walk and you'll it be off. set. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Io. Thank you. All right.